Hello students, today we are going to solve 2015 question paper of NEET and you know it comprises of 45 questions, each question carries 4 marks, so we will solve one by one. It start with the number 136 because uh, physics, uh, chemistry and biology was in the beginning, so now it is physics start. So let us see, the first question says that in this set, the position vector of a particle r is a function of time is given by r is equal to it is a vector 4 sin 2 pi t i cap plus 4 cos 2 pi t j cap where r is in meter t is in second i and j denote unit vector along x and y direction respectively which one of the following statement is wrong for the motion of particle number one magnitude of acceleration vector is v square by 1 we know it is correct exactly v square by r is the magnitude of acceleration where v is the velocity of the particle magnitude of the velocity of particle is 8 meter per second we have to see this one path of the particle in a circle is of radius 4 meter we also have to see this one acceleration vector is along minus r that is opposite okay 2 3 and 4 we can see but let me check first so what you are going to do out here we are going to find out this question or with the help of a chapter known as simple harmonic motion of class 11 so we know v is equals to plus minus a omega now along the y direction if you see the motion was along the y direction y will be equals to 4 cos written as 2 pi and then t so if you generalize with the equation a cos omega t your a will come out as 4 and omega as 2 pi so your velocity is coming out to be 8 pi meter per second okay now in the question if you go okay now we got velocity as 8 pi so this is the wrong option out here path of the particle in a circle the path of the radius was how much radius was the amplitude amplitude maximum amplitude was how much it was given to be 4 if you can see in the question it's 4 and always acceleration is directed against of r so this three are the correct option number two is the wrong answer so two is the correct choice for this question now let us move to the next question that is question number 137 question number 137 it says that the energy of the em waves is of the order of 15 kilo electron volt to which part of the spectrum does it belong so we have to see this one infrared violet uh, ultraviolet rays gamma rays or x rays so for this one you need to find out its wavelength at first so what you will do we know lambda is equals to h by p also lambda is equals to hc by e right so your lambda is equals to hc by so e is given to you so hc if you put the value and then put the value of the em wave that is 15 kilo electron volt so 15 into 10 to the power 3 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 because it is in electron volt we need to convert it in joule so if you solve this one you will see that the wavelength is falling under the region for x rays so i can click on x rays so let us move to the next question that is question number 138 question number 138 a beam of light consisting of red, green and blue color is incident on a right angled prism. The refractive index of the metal of the prism for the above red, green and blue wavelengths are 1.39, 1.44 and 1.47 respectively. So the prism will separate all the three colors from one another, okay. Not separate the three colors at all. Separate the red color part from the green and blue color separate the blue color part from the red and green color this is a question from ray optics okay if you have studied the chapter total internal reflection i mean the topic in the ray optics then you will see this this question is exactly there in ncrt also so what you have to do out here is you have to check which out of which which color will not undergo total internal reflection which will go total internal reflection okay the one which will not go it will be separated from the other colors okay now if you check here 
refractive index of red color is given to you is how much is 1.39 and refractive index of green color is given to you is how much 1.44 and refractive index of blue color is given to you it is 1.47. So, you have to use one formula sine of I c is equals to 1 by refractive index. So, if you see critical angle will be more for which color it will be more for red. So, red color will not undergo total internal reflection other than that this two will undergo total internal reflection that is green and blue and red after striking it will pass. So, what will be the correct option option number three separate the red color part from the green and blue color. So, it will be separate from the what green and blue color. So, option three is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question that is question number 139. Two particles A and B move with constant velocity V1 and V2 at the initial moment the position vector R1 and R2 respectively. The condition for particle A and B for their collision is this is the question from the chapter work power and energy and you have to have the concept of collision. Okay. So, if you do this one and find the answer conceptually you will see that, that the right answer is coming out to be option number 4. So, option number 4 is the correct answer for this question number 139. Now, let us move to the next question that is question number 140. It says that at the first minimum adjacent to the central maximum of a single slit diffraction pattern the phase difference between the hygiene's wavelet from the edge of the slit and the wavelet for the from the midpoint of the slit is. So, at the first minima ok adjacent to the central maxima of the slit experiment central maxima means if you take this one if this is the slit this is the central maxima the adjacent one ok the phase difference between the hygiene's wavelet from the edge of the slit from the edge of the slit the waves which are coming the phase difference and the wavelet from the midpoint of the slit is. So, from here until here this wavelets whatever it is coming. So, what will be the phase difference between these two waves at this point and the midpoint. So, we need to calculate this one how do we do this one we need to know one thing phase difference phase difference phi is equals to 2 pi by lambda multiplied with the part difference delta x. Now, part difference delta x for the next one is lambda by 2. Okay. You need to use the formula of diffraction. You see that chapter the first for first minima it will be lambda by 2. So, 2 pi by lambda multiplied with lambda by 2 lambda lambda get cancelled 2 to get cancelled out final phase difference is coming out to be pi pi radian. So, which option is the correct answer option number 2 is your correct answer. So, now let us move to the next question that is question number 141. A proton and an alpha particle both enter a region of uniform magnetic field B moving at an right angles to the field B if the radius of the circular orbit for both of the particle is equal and the kinetic energy acquired by photon is 1 mega electron volt the energy acquired by the alpha particle will be. So, my dear students this is a question from the topic known as cyclotron from the chapter magnetism ok please read that topic nicely then only you will be able to answer this question. You have to use one formula that is for the radius let me tell you just one and I will tell you the answer r is equals to m v by q b right. In place of m v that is momentum can be written as twice m of kinetic energy right or not divided by q b. Now, take it for both of them for one for electron uh, sorry for an alpha particle and for a proton also. If you take for both of them and then take r 1 and r 2 and find the answer. Your answer will be let me tell you you solve it by yourself 1 mega electron volt this is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question that is question number 142. A circuit contains an emitter a battery of 30 volt and a resistance of 40.8 ohm all connected in series 
okay if the emitter has coil of resistance 480 ohm and a shunt of 20 ohm the reading in the emitter will be how you are going to do this one this is a question came from the chapter current electricity so what you will do is first you will connect the voltage battery of how much volt twin uh, it's given in the question 30 volt and a resistance of how much is connected it's connected uh, 40.8 ohm 40.8 ohm and then an emitter is connected okay whose resistance is given to be how much the resistance of the emitter is 480 ohm and a shunt of 20 ohm is connected shunt is always connected in parallel with the emitter this is the shunt this is of 20 ohm now you need to calculate the current in the circuit so simply you find out the combination of this resistance first these two are in parallel then make the series connection and the voltage is given use the formula v equals to i r and then your current will be option number four so option number four is the correct answer now let us see question number 143 the value of coefficient of volume expansion of glycerin is 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 power kelvin the fractional change in the density of glycerin for a rise of 40 degree celsius in the temperature is so here uh, this is a question came from thermal properties of matter of class 11 so you will be using the formula delta p that is delta rho sorry by rho is equal to gamma multiplied with change in temperature gamma is given to you the change in temperature is also given to you if you solve this one it will be this option number one will be the correct answer now let us move to the next question that is 144 question number 144 says that an ideal gas is compressed to half its initial volume by means of severe several processes which of the processes result in the maximum work done of a gas out of all the four if you plot a graph between volume and pressure or you see in the pv diagram adiabatic is the one which gives us the maximum work done so adiabatic will be the correct answer for this question 144 this is the right answer now let us move to the next question that is 145 a series rc circuit is connected to an alternating voltage source consider two situation when capacitor is air filled when capacitor is mica filled means a dielectric is kept in between the capacitor current through resistor is i and the voltage across the capacitor is v then which of the conditions will satisfy okay now let us see i is equal to v by root over of r square plus 1 by omega c square yes this is the capacitive reactance x is equals to 1 by omega c right so you have this one now if you want to find out voltage voltage will be equals to i r or in place of r you can write down x c so it will be v divided by root over of r square plus 1 by omega c of whole square multiplied with x is 1 by omega c of whole square now if you know this one you can solve it and find out this one to be if you find it out it will give you this is the volt uh, potential at point a maybe fine so what will happen is v root over of it will come out to be r omega c of whole square plus 1 if you see if you put a dielectric if the capacitance increases the voltage will decrease with the help of this condition whenever a dielectric is kept if you keep a dielectric with the increase in c voltage what it will happen it will decrease so my correct option for this question will be click on it right so now let us move to the next question that is question number 146 light of wavelength 500 nanometer is incident on a metal with work function 2.258 electron volt the de Broglie wavelength of the emitted electron is work function is given and you have to calculate the de Broglie wavelength okay so it's a good question so you have to use two formula out here the first formula which we'll be using is from the photoelectric equation 
energy is equal to kinetic energy, energy of the photon plus the phi naught that is the work function and lambda is equals to h by p you can use this one also but from this only you can find out the what the wavelength okay so use this form and see that the final answer will be this one option number 2 it will be less than equal to 2.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 meter this is a question from the chapter uh, dual nature of radiation and matter concept as well as the de Broglie's concept. So, option number 2 is your correct answer if you have to solve, but you have to solve with the help of photoelectric equation e equals to kinetic energy plus the work function. Here is 18 Na. So, definitely it is the maximum water molecules which is contained. So, your answer number 4 is the correct answer of question number 94. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 95.